it's the next morning and Allison made me Glenda Groff sourdough waffles. I, Allison spoils me. She is, I told her not to make me breakfast, but she didn't listen and I'm enjoying it anyway. <laughs> so, um, I, we made the pancake syrup and um, it wasn't quite sweet enough. I like the pancake THM pancake syrup, but it definitely needs the blackstrap molasses, which I had this time, but I forgot to add extra gentle sweet. So if you make the THM pancake syrup, I think it needs a little extra gentle sweet. But I have something I made the other day that I really liked and wanted to tell you guys about. So it was inspired by the berry syrup on Gwen's Nest website. But you just take a little bowl of frozen blueberries and put them in the microwave on a defrost setting. I'm going to defrost these until they get warm and start to ooze like the berry juice. And then you can take them out and add gentle sweet and just kind of mash it with a fork and you have a berry syrup that is dry through Sue. Okay, so I just took it out. I watched it until it started bubbling and I took it out and you can see it's steaming. So now I'm just going to add, I don't know, maybe like a half a tablespoon of gentle sweet or a little more and then stir it up and then I'm going to put this over my waffle. And as you see, I'm going to, I kind of am mashing the berries a little bit with the fork, but I'm going to leave some of them whole. You could try adding some glucky if you wanted, but I'm happy with that consistency. So I'm So it's lunchtime on Saturday and Allison's making us fish for lunch, but we can't remember where the recipe is between all of our cookbooks. So. We're looking in, in this one and we're looking in this one and this one. This is white fish from Alaska, fresh from the ocean a couple of months ago. <laughs> Probably not fresh anymore. <laughs> anyway, this is the succulent fish part of the succulent fish and veggies. And I enjoy this recipe often. It's on page 316 of the Trim Healthy Table cookbook. And you don't need to do the veggies part. You can just make a side salad or... I'm making some coleslaw to go with it. I am not a fish person. I grew up detesting fish, and it wasn't until we moved to Alaska that I really um, started eating salmon, and now I'm eating white fish. And thank you, Pearl. I started eating tuna for the first time in my life a couple okay. weeks ago. You guys, this fish is amazing. I said to Allison, I wish you could make me lunch every day. I would eat so healthy. She, I'm making this again for sure, if I can get some white fish. <laughs> We might actually have some halibut in our freezer that we were given. So, yeah. And I might have to start buying tilapia just to make this. No. So, Allison's going to share with you for a second because... Oh, hi, Felicity! Because she... Um, Allison inspires me because she listens to the potty. <laughs> and actually does what they say to do. So, anyway, she was just telling me about incorporating more fish. And... <laughs> And Felicity's showing us her fish. <laughs> so do you want to talk for a second, Allison, sure. about your journey with fish? Yes. So we moved to Alaska 11 years ago, and I did not eat fish ever. Um, in fact, we went fishing, and I caught my first fish ever and would not even eat it or touch it. Um Fast forward, and now we can salmon. We have white fish in the freezer. Um, it's a mixture of halibut and rockfish. And I even ate tuna for the first time in my life a couple weeks ago. And that was because of the potty, right? And that was partly because of the potty. So because we have this white fish in the freezer, I started trying to uh, make it once a week. And... Right after that, uh, Pearl and Serene did the potty about incorporating more fish in your life. So I was very inspired to have the white fish once a week. And then I started incorporating tuna into my life. Yeah, I was in shock when when she told us 
me and Julie that she was starting to eat tuna. <laughs> yeah. um, after I took my first bite of tuna, my boys were at the table and I had a little party, like a celebration <laughs> that I ate tuna. <laughs> they were kind of surprised that <laughs> mom had never eaten tuna when they ate it themselves. <laughs> they said to, if you're not eating fish at all. Right. So they suggested because fish yeah. is leaner and has good stuff in it to if you aren't eating it at all start with once a week if you're eating it already once a week you can try starting two or three times a week yeah. and to so replace forth. other meat with it right mm -hmm. it's real quick i think it takes five to seven minutes to cook on yeah. the stove top that's like the same amount of time it takes to make macaroni and cheese exactly <laughs> <Less>. <laughs> yeah um and no special ingredients. You have yeah. everything in your cupboard already. And then I made the sweet, creamy mm -hmm. coleslaw, but then I also made mine into a wrap. So um, it is absolutely amazing. This is actually my second wrap because the Tomorrow brand, I'm saying it right now, I think, Tomorrow wraps are just three net carbs. So you can actually have two, I believe. So yeah. anyway, we're enjoying our lunch. Thank you, Allison, for making lunch. You're welcome. We, now we, we have to, we're still trying to brainstorm about dinner. Yeah. Right. We'll figure it out. We are having a dessert now that kids are in bed and <laughs> we are making um chocolate chip cookie in a mug lindsey murphy is where i got excited about these i've made something similar in the past but watching her recent video about them with her master mix um just made me really want to make these <laughs> so i've been making, this is my fourth one this week um very delicious now and we are making some of Coach Becky's chocolate ice cream to put on top. And Allison has not had Coach Becky's ice cream yet. I'm very excited. And what did you think of the chocolate chip cookie thing last night? Um, it was really good, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a chocolate chip cookie. I don't know what I would call it yet, but it was really good. Okay. <laughs> Yay for dessert. Yes. And girls' nights. Nice. <laughs> 